on Thursday, September 8, 2022, BBC News presenter Hugh Edwards solemnly announced the death of Queen Elizabeth II. As Hugh announced the devastating news wearing a black suit and tie, eagle-eyed viewers were outraged as they claimed two staff members were taking selfies with one another over the shoulder of Hugh. As the news came in that Queen Elizabeth had died, Hugh delivered the news to those across the nation. He reported, This is BBC News from London, Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. In the background of the broadcast, two figures just to the right of HW's shoulder can be seen with their phones. Many viewers were disgusted by what they deemed to be witnessing and claimed that the members of staff were taking selfies during the emotional time. Flocking to Twitter to express their disappointment and views of their actions, at EMERG Med DR fumed, as Hugh Edwards made the announcement that the Queen has died on BBC News, journalists in the office in the background were talking selfies and photos of Hugh. Have some respect. At News. Replying to his tweet, at Stevie underscore panics exclaimed, I just saw this too. Disgusting. Karen Lewis commented, behind at Thehu Edwards the BBC News staff suddenly stood and took selfies against the banks of screens on the wall behind. Split second timing, I knew what he was about to say. Sean Regan added, just a pity they let those staff members behind take selfies and film it. Surprised the Ed News did not have better control. Kevin Burden said, that was a very poor error of judgment, despite the understandable temptation. While Jane D erupted, I am beyond disgusted that people working in the BBC studio taking selfies as Hugh Edwards announced the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Unbelievable disrespect. Sick, Camilla pulled out of TV interview to rush to Charles side, Insight, Express. Co.uk has contacted BBC for a comment. Hugh was praised for his impeccable and sensitive coverage of the death of the Queen, with Alistair Campbell sharing Hugh had been preparing for the moment for months. Alistair shared on Twitter, Hugh Edwards told me a few months ago he had been preparing, practicing and even rehearsing in front of his bathroom mirror for this moment for some time. He said too that the Queen's death would be the biggest challenge to BBC News in its history. He did superbly. I am out of the country and have not seen much of the BBC coverage but Fiona Miller, Campbell's wife, tells me he has been absolutely brilliant. Which should surprise nobody. During his coverage of the news, Hugh touched on the seismic event which would have rocked the nation after her 70 years of reign. He explained, and it's not a surprise when someone of that age suffers ill health and eventually passes away but what is left of course is the reflection on what was achieved and the kind of life that was led, and the sense of duty and a sense of loyalty. As Nick Whitchell was saying, the sense of humility, which seems rather bizarre to say for a monarch, as someone who had a sense of service to others. This was a theme that was repeated so often in the Queen's statements and at great milestones in her life. 